Amazon sellers, this is Leah McHugh from eCommerce Chris. I am here, of course, with the eCommerce Chris, Chris McCabe. Um, and today we are speaking to Priyanka from Seller App, talking about Amazon PPC, which is something that I feel like I've had more conversations about PPC this year than like any and then year. every other <laughs> yes. year. Yeah, and we've had we've had brands come to the Seller Velocity Conference, of course, for several years in a row now. Mm -hmm. But we're expecting many more conversations about PPC this year than any prior year. So. Yeah, it seems like everybody's kind of figured out that it's now a pay to play pat platform. So Priyanka, I'd be really interested in hearing what your top predictions and trends that you're seeing are for Amazon PPC in the next year. Absolutely. It's a great question, Leah and Chris, and I think I see multiple of them. Number one being programmatic advertising. Our advertising experts actually foresee that programmatic advertising will be on the rise in 2022. Mm -hmm. And as Google actually continues to limit third-party cookies and search query data, advertisers really need to rely on first-party data to ensure that successful advertising strategies actually get executed. As a company that owns data about shoppers' buying habits, Right. I would say Amazon's advertising will really evolve to be more powerful. They also would be encouraged to use Amazon's programmatic platform to really target and automate um, their ad placements and campaign performance. So for sure, that would be number one for me. Um, other things that I also see more personalized advertising getting a lot of, you know, thought there. Also, another trend that you can expect in 2022 is the increase in personalized advertising across the entire marketing funnel. So gone are those days when sellers really used to target their keywords and expect success. Mm -hmm. um, now advertising is really increasingly becoming data driven and mm -hmm. you're really making informed decisions out of the data that you gather. So meaning that consumers really tend to see that ads are really relevant to their searches yep. and shopping behavior, of course. So therefore, we can really expect increased engagement there among the shoppers. And really, this brings us to our third point as well, adopting more sophisticated targeting options. With the amount of data that's available on Amazon, the e-commerce giant would really come up with more personalized ad types like OTT, video ads, etc., and targeting options that are more customized as per consumers, um, I would say, interest. And if utilized properly, this will really ensure that you grow as a brand. But video ads would prevail. So video ads are also very, very popular among the Gen Z population. Right. And a sure. recent study by Google showed that seven out of these 10 Gen Zers said that watching videos will really help them feel very connected. And because you really don't have any tangible way of really looking through the product, but video ads do come very close to representing that product. So Amazon will likely improve options for advertisers to use video as part of their funnel. And images are great, I would say, but video, I think, play a far bigger, higher role. Even even with organic traffic, video is, is so powerful. We've, we've heard some pretty amazing stats of people who have added unboxing videos to their product. Absolutely. I think, yes, yes, that's great. That's a great way of showcasing your product. Right. right. So who, who would have thought, like, I would have thought, why would somebody watch a video of taking a product out of a box? But it just shows I know, you know, you're the know. wrong generation. I'm the wrong. <laughs> well, it, it just shows that I had Gen the, Z, as I said, right? Yeah, the wrong perspective. I think, I think it also creates a lot of engagement, right? And creates yeah. that brand awareness among the um, target audience. So I think that's a great way of showcasing your product. Yeah, absolutely. And I think as more and more of these tools become available and more and more people are using advertising on Amazon, automation, I think, would potentially be something that's going to become more and more important. Is that something that you're seeing where people are really understanding that there are benefits to Amazon advertising? Amazon. Oh, tons and bunch, right? I mean, business automation is the buzz around the town. You know, we talk about CPC. That's another buzz that we talk about. The CPC rates are rising. That's another yeah. topic of discussion altogether, but absolutely, mm -hmm. I think managing the PPC performance, you know, the campaigns is one of the most important, mm -hmm. yet most time consuming activities for sellers. So it's more like a double-edged sword, so to speak. 
And right. optimizing your PPC campaigns requires you to monitor your bids, keywords, campaigns uh, very, very regularly, meticulously. So okay. you really need to optimize and ensure that your ads stay profitable yeah. and in line with your campaign goals. And this can be really, really daunting if you really have a huge product portfolio. Oh yeah, absolutely. With the complexity of advertising rising, advertisers now actually look for PPC optimization tools that are offering automation capabilities to really help them achieve their goals faster and like never before. Right. And thanks to, of course, the tools, you'll be able to save hours of repetitive workflows, right. manual labor, manual effort, and direct your efforts into strategizing towards your campaign goals, also in other areas of your business, like product research, inventory management, and basically other marketing activities. So I think it is extremely vital and imperative for your business to grow. And there's different kinds of automation, right? What are the key differences between say machine learning based automation and uh, rule based automation? Sure, sure. I think that's a great question. And so the key differences that I think between machine learning based automation and rule based in terms of, I think, advertising controls, ML driven automation really gives you low control versus a high amount of user control for rule based automation. Mm -hmm. Also, when it comes to really boosting your ROI or return on investment, ML driven automation uses historical data to achieve optimum results. While in a rule based automation, advertisers really need to give manual bits, like manual inputs. So, in terms of ease and use, I would still say that ML driven automation tools gives you complete hands off automation experience for sellers. However, the rule based one um, would also offer good control over campaigns. But sellers should also have minimum knowledge of campaign management. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think that's also one of the reasons why we've developed, you know, an app like Seller App, which kind of gives you the best of the both worlds approach kind of thing. So, using ML algorithms uh, to really optimize the bids, harvest new keywords, and really add negative keywords, mm -hmm. which means better ad position, lower yeah. A costs, and of course, increase in sales volume with higher return on ad spend. So, you can really track and improve your ROI and optimize the metrics that matter the most to you to grow towards your business. Do you find that a lot of sellers use a hybrid of both? I think it's important to do that. I really reckon that you do because you cannot just leave it on like set it, forget it kind of approach. As I mentioned, there are custom rules that you can use. You can also, you know, if you're targeting keywords, you can actually automate it and find mm -hmm. those keywords through automation and use them manually. So yep. it's kind of a hybrid mix approach, I would say. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that was maybe where in the past with some of the earlier tools like this, people got in trouble where they would just set it and forget it and it would end. Right. Yeah. Completely. And I would just like writing a whole ad copy, right? Because you're not looking at positive keywords which are converting for you. You right. are not being cognizant of the negative ones which you want to kind of eliminate. So all of these things kind of come in play. Mm -hmm. And um, we talked about automation that would also give you a lot of time to look into these aspects of your ad class. Awesome. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today about these crucial, important topics for, for PPC. We appreciate it. Thank you. And thanks for having me here. It was great talking to both of you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And we will link all of the information so people can get in touch with you about your tools and how you can help sellers with their ads. Terrific. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.